Prince Harry and Meghan Markle found themselves entangled in a web of discord during Celine Dion's jaw-dropping appearance at Katy Perry's farewell spectacle in Las Vegas. Dion, the resilient Canadian songstress, emerged from a period of seclusion due to a serious ailment, embracing public events once again. Her presence at the resort's World Theatre not only stole the limelight, but hinted at a potential comeback, as suggested by entertainment maven John Coates in the Las Vegas Review Journal. Captured on video, Dion radiated with a much elegance and class. The harmonious atmosphere sharply contrasted the subtle turbulence in the VIP section, where Meghan and Harry occupied seats near Dion, but in a distant enclave. Despite attempts to engage in conversation, the evening unfolded quietly, with Meghan reaching out to Dion earlier in the night, only to be met with indifference. Reportedly, Meghan's jest about Dion's health spread like wildfire, exposing a breach of etiquette and igniting a barrage of questions about her perceived entitlement. The incident spotlighted a seismic shift hinting at Hollywood's detachment from the Sussexes as influential figures in companies such as Gwyneth Paltrow's Empire and even Audible sought to distance themselves from the royal couple. For Harry, accustomed to the reverence bestowed upon his previous royal stature, this sudden social descent must be jarring. Celebrities and dignitaries, once quick to pay respects to him, now seem eager to disassociate. The unraveling narrative suggests a conscious effort by many celebrities in Hollywood to separate from the Sussexes. Across the Atlantic, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry find themselves seething in the shadow of Kate and Prince William, who have seen a massive surge in their popularity in the U.S. Royal expert and commentator Sarah Hewen, quoted by the Daily Express UK, posits that Prince William has forged a formidable defense in America, evident in recent polls that cast Princess Kate as a queen in waiting. In spite of Harry's revelations in his memoir, Kate and William, initially apprehensive about public response, now find themselves embraced by the American public. As the tide turns against Meghan and Harry, frustration burgeons. The claims of their exclusion from King Charles's 75th birthday celebration add a layer of intrigue, although their spokesperson insists no invitation was extended to them. While Celine Dion's return to the public eye is a symbol of resurgence, Meghan and Harry grapple with isolation and simmering discontent on the other side of the Atlantic.